Shalom, and welcome to the Jerusalem Day celebration here at the European Parliament for the seventh consecutive year. We are gathered today for Yom Yerushalayim. Jews all over the world since the ancient times face Jerusalem to pray, a place which has always been the center of our lives, that reminds us of our glorious past and the future that is at the heart of our hopes. I just want to say thank you to Mr. Takula and all the members who are here today. It, it's because of you that we are organizing Jerusalem Day. It's once again a great pleasure for me to welcome you all to celebrate Jerusalem Day with us here at the European Parliament. For many centuries, the very name of Jerusalem has been a source of hope and encouragement for the Jewish people all around the world. I and we appreciate very much the fact that other people find Jerusalem Holy. It's holy to the three monotheistic religions. I think that today, unlike in the past, all prayers who want to commemorate or practice their religious, their religious traditions are free to exercise them in Jerusalem in a more free way, an open way in comparison to any time in the past. I'm also sure that we need a political agreement in order to bring a settlement about to the very long conflict between us and our neighbors, mainly the Palestinians. But one thing should be very clear. Jerusalem was, Jerusalem is, and Jerusalem will be the undivided internal capital of the State of Israel allowing place to everyone. I come before you today to talk, to thank you for your steadfast support of our country, the love and support you give the Jewish people and the state of Israel is a blessing. Israel is the only nation in the Middle East that protects the freedom of all religions and their holy sites. This uh, guaranteed freedom cannot be taken for granted. I just want to remind you those verses from Sefer Tehillim, Book of Psalms 122. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May they prosper that love thee. Peace be within thy walls and prosperity within thy palaces. For my brethren and companions' sakes, I will now say, peace be within thee, for the sake of the house of the Lord, our God, I will seek thy good. On this day, the European Union and the entire international community shall come together in order to assure the continued existence of United Jerusalem, which is, as our history teaches us, the only way to preserve freedom of worship and to protect the most holy places for religious. Jerusalem, indeed, is today the beautiful city where we can see today a freedom of religion for all religious. So indeed, Jerusalem Day is a celebration of freedom and pluralism. <laughs> Thank you. 